everybody. I hope you are having a happy day. I wanted to just share with you guys real quick um, my top five favorite microwave products. Um, now, with it being a crazy new season, um, it is back to school, it is rehearsals, practices, homework at the kitchen table, everybody's got something on the calendar at the end of the day. Um, these products just help so stinking much, and so I'm really excited to share them with you. Um, so first things first um, is I want to show you something for breakfast. Um, this is a product that, um, again, is a Pampered Chef problem solver for a problem I didn't know I had, which I love when they do that because it just makes me so excited for what else they're going to do in the future. Um, this is the breakfast sandwich maker. Um, my favorite thing about this is that it is a one pot done kind of product. Um, every single thing that I need to make a breakfast sandwich goes in here and I don't have to worry about it. So I'll show you little by little. So the first thing is the very bottom, this is where you put um, the yolk. So it has instructions in the bottom and all it says is it tells you just to break the yolk because otherwise if you don't, it's gonna explode. So this is where your yolk goes um, for your eggs that you put in when you're making a breakfast sandwich. Um, it has two compartments then. The bigger one is for steaming your English muffin or um, roll or whatever it is that you wanna use to make your sandwich. And the tinier basket is for um, meat, uh, whether you wanna do breakfast sausage or ham or anything like that, that's what this is for. They all stack um, in together like this. So the two of these go inside and then the lid pops on right like this. They all have these holes right here that you can see, which are awesome for helping to ventilate. So you're not gonna get something that's warmer than something else, or you're not gonna get something that's colder than something else, which I hate it so much when I get a breakfast sandwich and I bite into it and everything's warm except the egg or everything's warm except the meat. It's just, oh, it's just so gross. So I really like this because I know that the heat is gonna be able to circulate all the way through here and you can see the holes go all the way to the bottom. Um, the heat's gonna circulate all the way through the entire time that it's cooking in the microwave. Now, I tell people when they use their microwave that your microwave is different than mine. So although it only takes three minutes and 30 seconds in my microwave, it might take a little bit longer in yours or it might even take a little bit shorter of time. It kind of depends on your microwave. So what I always say is to try something in the microwave first to see how long it's going to do. Just do the egg and see how long it cooks. Um, just do the English muffin and see how long that takes because you always want to make sure that you're not overcooking something or undercooking something. So I really, really love this. My favorite part about this is this is really easy if you have kids that are a little bit older, um, like middle school age kids. This is super easy for them to be able to put together by themselves. Um, this is a really quick breakfast. You know that they're getting a good nutritious breakfast instead of just eating like a donut like I used to want to. Um, those tiny little mini donuts were like my favorite. <laughs> um, but this is a really easy way to make sure that kids are getting a good nutritious breakfast um, that's actually gonna help them focus on school or whatever it is they're starting their day with. So I really, really like this for busy moms or dads on the go, more than one kid in the house, this is definitely a lifesaver. Um, I also really like this because of how tiny it is. So if you um, are like my husband, and even though your workday starts at six, but you might not want breakfast for another three hours, this is super easy to take to work with you. Pop all your ingredients in here, put it in the microwave, and then you can have breakfast at work. So you're not having to warm something up like my husband would at six in the morning and then not eat it for another three hours because then it's cold, it's soggy, and it just doesn't taste as good, and then you're not inclined to eat it. So I really like this super, super, super of a lifesaver. So breakfast sandwich maker, your house needs to have one. So my next favorite thing is um, I love, love, love this. Um, when they introduced this at conference two years ago, I literally said I will do whatever I have to do to get this because my house needs this, but my husband also really needed this. And this is the microwave pasta cooker. Now, I know when I tell you cooking pasta in the microwave, your immediate reaction is to go, oh my gosh, but I promise, A, I wouldn't show it to you if it didn't work, and B, Pampered Chef wouldn't release it unless it was awesome, and it's like, blow your socks off, amazing. So. This is really cool because it does the exact same thing as the breakfast sandwich maker, except it's for pasta. One thing I really like about this is the top part of this, 
the red part solves the boil over issue. A lot of times when you have microwave pasta cooker or even when you're cooking on the stove, the biggest annoyance of pasta is that you have to stand there and watch it because even if you put the wooden spoon on the top or whatever it might be, it's gonna boil over unless you have a Pampered Chef boil over no more. But I really like this because it's super quick and easy and it's not gonna have all of that boil over in the microwave that you're like, oh, now I have to clean this up. So I really, really enjoy this. My favorite part of this is how big of a dish that you can actually fill this with pasta. If you can tell, um, this is my whole entire index finger. So this thing is super deep and I really appreciate that because if my husband and I are on the way home from community group or um, someone's house or we just kind of need a little bit more of a snack or if I'm having pregnancy cravings real late, this is super awesome and super helpful. So I kind of follow the ratio of about one cup of pasta and one cup of water. But again, my microwave is different than everybody else's. So you might only need three fourths a cup of water or you might need a little bit more. It just kind of depends. Um, I also always say that it's different for each pasta because pasta that is hollow, like penne pasta, is gonna cook a little bit different than bow tie pasta is. So I always say, test it the first time. If it doesn't work, that's okay. You're just creating your guide to your own pasta cooker in your house. So I really like this because not only can you just do pasta in this, but we have delicious recipes for mac and cheese and the most amazing, like mouth-watering pastas on the Pampered Chef website. So this is super awesome to have. And just to have as a backup, because if you have a kid who, you know, is a picky eater, or if you just need to get dinner on the table really quick afterwards, or an after soccer practice, and they're still hungry after they had that early dinner before practice, this is a really awesome go-to. Um, we also have a recipe in here, this is just a side note, for um, parents that want a snack afterwards, I have a recipe to make a giant chocolate, chocolate chip cookie, because hello, delicious. So my favorite part about this though is that this is dishwasher safe because there is nothing more <laughs> in the entire world than I hate than doing dishes. So this makes it super awesome to be able to do that. So you definitely need a microwave pasta cooker because it is almost never clean. I actually just washed it before this video because my husband used it yesterday. So now my favorite thing that I'm gonna show you for the microwave is for dinner. Um, I use it primarily for dinner, but I pretty much could use it for literally anything in the entire world. And it is a rock crock. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit, um, but first I wanna show you one of the products that go with it, and that is the microwave grip set. Um, this is really awesome because I don't know about you, but have you ever tried to like grab something quick out of the microwave that's hot, but like, not spill it and hold it tight at the same time. It's like impossible, you can't do it. So I really like these because they fit my fingers, they're flexible, they fit right on the edge of whatever it is that I'm doing. And I honestly don't feel like I'm gonna lose whatever it is I'm carrying because there's nothing more annoying than holding a hot pan or something that's boiling or something that I'm just pulling out of the microwave and feeling like I'm gonna lose it. So I love this microwave grip set and I have, um, heard from many of my friends that these make great teethers for your toddlers too. So I really, really enjoy these. Um, I love just being able to grab them. I love how tiny they are. They're really, really small. So they're great for saving space in your kitchen too. So these are super awesome if you cook in the microwave. So anyways, back to the rock rock. I love this thing because of all the different places it can go, but also because of all the different things that it can do. So this is clay that's been treated so that it can withstand temperatures of 725 degrees, which means that it can go into the microwave, on the stove, in the oven, in the broiler. We have a stand that turns it into a slow cooker. It's dishwasher safe. It's safe to go in the fridge and the freezer. And my favorite part is that it's safe to use on the grill. So you have nine places that this thing can cook. Why on earth would you cook with anything else when you have a busy weeknight? I just, I, it blows my mind. So my favorite recipe to do in here is chicken Parmesan. And I know you're thinking, oh my God, you make chicken? And I, yes, make chicken in this thing all the time. And no, I do not have time to be preheating the oven and put chicken in this thing. I do chicken in the microwave constantly. I honestly, completely truthful, cannot remember the last time that I actually turned the oven on to make an entree because it just doesn't happen anymore because I have quick and easy solutions 
that make it so much easier and they taste just the same. Why would I have the twice as amount of time that I don't need? So what I do is I'll put three chicken breasts down, put a little seasoning on there, put the lid on, pop it in the microwave for about seven to eight minutes. And again, that's just my microwave. Might need a little bit longer, might even need a little bit shorter. Um, I'll rotate the chicken breast, check the temp check the temperature to see how much longer I need to cook them for. Then I'll pour a can of tomato sauce over them, put a little bit of mozzarella and Parmesan cheese, put them back in the microwave, check them again, and then I have chicken Parmesan and I didn't have to do anything but dirty one pan and push six buttons. How easy is that? How awesome would it be? Now, we have a few different sizes of this and a few different shapes too. This is the two and a half quart one. We also have a four quart and an eight quart one. We also have a really teeny tiny casserole run that's about half the size. I always say that it kind of depends on the size you need based on how many people are in your family. For my husband and I, this two and a half quart size works absolutely perfect. If you have a big family, you might want to invest in the four or the eight quart one just because you're going to have more mouths to feed. But I literally do everything in this. I've put whole entire ribs in here. I put whole entire pork tenderloins in here and I've done it all in the microwave because I don't have time always to be sitting there waiting and seeing if something's cooking or actually at the temperature of the oven. I don't have time for that. And when my husband comes home from the gym, like he wants food like yesterday. So I want to make sure that I have food done and there. So I'm not standing doing dishes or loading the dishwasher at all hours of the night before I have to go to bed. I want that quality time and I want to get into those healthy habits before our baby's born and before our baby grows up. So that way then I'm not stuck in the kitchen instead of making memories at the end of the night with my family. So this is an awesome, awesome, awesome product to have. If you do not have one of these, you need one. I don't know what it is that you will need it for. I promise you need one. If you like to meal prep, if you are a busy working parent, if you are a stay at home parent, if you just need something that makes dinner time quick and easy, you need to have one of these. I have never once had somebody go, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to use this for because they use it for everything. My favorite recipe that I've ever made in this is I filled it with water, put it on the stove, and I use this on my electric stove. So it's safe on electric and also gas too. I put this on my electric stove, boiled with water, put it, um, put my pasta in it, cooked the pasta, drained it out. Then I seared chicken in it on both sides, shredded up my chicken, put the pasta back in, sprinkled some cheese in, put it in the microwave for a few minutes, and then I had chicken mac and cheese. And all I had to do was push a few buttons and cook the pasta and the chicken. So, so easy. Why would I waste my time boiling pasta here and cooking chicken in the oven there when I could do half of it in the microwave? It makes life so much easier. My favorite part is that this goes in the dishwasher too, so I don't have to worry about dishes afterwards because thank goodness. Now the last product I want to show you is a product for dessert because did you really eat if you didn't have dessert? I'm just saying. So in my house, we are not very much of a sweet family as we are a salty kind of dessert family. So that's where we use this with the lid, I promise. Um, this is the microwave um, popcorn cooker and I love, love, love this thing. It's so much fun, it's so easy. I'm gonna show you guys bits and pieces of it first. So the top part of it, this is the lid. Um, it comes with this little cup. And what this is for is for measuring your kernels. So when you get it, this helps you to be able to measure your kernels and you'll see that it has holes in the bottom. So you measure your kernels of how much you want and you pour them into the actual bucket just like this. Now, the cool part is, and one thing that I always really like is to make sure that all the kernels that are popped actually have butter on them because while well, yes, there's nothing better than that one piece of popcorn that has like all the butter on it, then the rest of the popcorn pieces aren't as good. So one thing I'll do is while my kernels are in here, then I put my lid on just like this. I'll take some butter, seasoning if I want, whatever it is that I want to put on here. Um, a really, really delicious thing to put on top of popcorn that's a little bit healthier of an option is grapeseed oil. You can find it next to the canola oil in that aisle too. But anyway, so putting something in there like that that you want to, and then as this cooks, your oil is going to drip from the bottom of here 
into your popcorn. So as your popcorn's popping and getting bigger and it's all expanding and blowing up and popping, um, it's going to actually gradually mix and make all of the pieces have popcorn and everything, or have butter or salt or whatever it is that you're putting in there on here. I love this because it is ginormous and it will feed, well, it feeds more people, but it feeds me and my husband. Um, this is the bigger size, so it will feed a family of four. This is our family sized one. But my favorite thing about this, A, is that it's really flexible, but I also really like how easy it is to store too, because while yes, I love having so many Pampered Chef products, I also need a place to store them. So the fact that this folds up and is so super tiny, makes my life so much easier. So I really, really love having this. It works great when we have a bunch of people over and I don't have to make 16 million bags of popcorn. Also, popcorn bags, do you really know what's inside of them? Do you really know what that greasy, buttery stuff is on the edge of the bag that we all love to lick off, but we don't really know what's in there? So I just like this because it's a healthier, safer option that just makes me feel a little bit better about what I'm actually putting into my body. So. These are some of my favorite microwave must-haves. Um, I really, really enjoy using all of them. I'm so grateful that they all are in my kitchen. And I'm really, really excited that um, Pampered Chef realizes that we are busy and we need solutions. And I'm really glad that we have these for um, watching. So thank you guys so much for watching with me. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.